Hey guys, what's up? Uh, I got a new toy. Man, them pigs better start a watching out now. Nighttime hunting just got a whole lot messier, I can guarantee you that. Decided to go ahead and get me one of these a few days back. <laughs> and then, the ice storm hit. What a pain, jeez. I, I so wanted to go out and sight this bad boy in. Yeah, I thought today would be the perfect day, with one exception. I, we're counting on three waves of absolute mid-January style Arctic air ice storm crap coming in this week. I guess, you know, it could be worse. I didn't have to go to work today, but man, <clears throat> I would rather this stuff hit later on. Ain't even Halloween yet. Place looks like middle January in Fargo, North Dakota. Well, to the exception we don't have 12 feet of snow on the ground. Anyway, this is the sight mark Wraith HD. Pick this bad puppy up. Got an infrared illuminator. A power digital zoom. Records movies and snapshots. It's got all sorts of fun buttons on it. So I'm going to try to get to know it a little better. See if it can't become fairly proficient at its use. Got that one shot zero digital programming, I'm sure, like most of the higher higher end units have, but uh, I think I'm getting ready to uh, up the game up just a little on our nighttime hog hunts out the river. I can't wait to get out and play with it, but uh, even if this ice all melted and went away tomorrow, I couldn't get down to where I need to get by Saturday, and it is deer season still, so I'm not going to go out there and make a bunch of noise and piss the deer hunters off. But just a little quick, just a little, little tease. I'm going to get her set up, get her lined up, and then we'll do a little video on getting her sighted in, start seeing how she is, and hopefully by late spring, early summer, and start delivering some nighttime hog hunting cinematic action. So, anyway, y'all have a great day. There'll be more to come on this. It's going to be a while, but fun, fun, fun. The Infidel has arrived. Hey friends and neighbors, what's going on today? Woo, what a day, huh? Well, I got this new toy. <laughs> Little side mark, Wraith HD. I thought, boy, I'll set that puppy up. Go out and have me a little fun. <clears throat> Get that bad boy side in when, when them little piggies show back up at the river. I will be spending some time in the dark, snooping and pooping and lighting them puppies up in a very quiet manner. And no sooner did I make plans for this than the biggest damn ice storm that's ever hit Oklahoma in the month of October, decided to go ahead and swing on down from the Arctic and make history. It ain't even Halloween yet. It already looks like the middle of damn January. Oh, Lordy. Just when I get a new toy to play with, what do I get to do? Wait some more. 27th of October, Central Oklahoma. Second wave of three. And an ice storm coming down here. Jim, I need Christmas. Really? This is not how October is supposed to be. Mm. 
That was a beautiful sycamore tree three days ago. That's just a wreck. Oh, God. I hate ice storms. And in doing so, it sure put the kibosh on my plans. Damn it, I hate it when a plan don't come together. But like we all know, the best laid plans are mice and men, right? <laughs> No good plan ever survives the first 10 seconds of contact. That's what they said. We used to say, okay. Anyway. Oh. It's like having a brand new Corvette and no driver's license. <laughs> Shit, that's tearing me up. Anyway, uh, there's a lot of videos out here on YouTube on this unit. Have been since about mid-April of last year. Uh, so I'm not going to bore you with a bunch of details that other people can lay out and specifications of much greater detail and more concise manner than I can because let's face it I've only had this thing for a few hours I'm not that familiar with it but I'm gonna get that way and when I do I'm also gonna start shooting some movies on it and it's got a little SD card port so I'm gonna put that in there Matthew and I'm gonna make some nighttime all gun movies I know there's a lot of those out there too uh, but it's just gonna be fun like I said Everybody knows I do this for a hobby. It ain't monetized. I ain't making no money. I ain't got a bunch of advertisers going, hey, 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 because frankly, I don't think I've hit 140 subscribers yet, and that's cool. I don't care. I'm just having fun with it. But this little puppy right here, mm-hmm. That's one of the things I liked about it is the fact that, well, the best thing I like about it, I'll tell you right off the bat, God, it's getting hot in here. Um... Best thing I like about it is <laughs> the fact uh, it was $499. Hell, you can't beat that. I've already had a chance to throw some batteries in it and uh, look at it in absolute total darkness. Went down the hallway, got in the bathroom, shut all the lights off, closed all the doors. I mean, pitch black. And I'm going to tell you what, baby, it's got some pretty damn good definition up close. And... This might look like a kind of a tiny little IR illuminator, and it is. I'm going to tell you what. Low power is all you need in a room full of white walls, because that puppy will bleed out fast. But I got a feeling that once I have a chance to get out there and get some nighttime footage and get a little further distance, I'm going to find out that I like it just as well out there as I did in here. But so it's kind of a coming attraction to deal. It's going to take a little bit, you know. We got to wait on it, just like we got to do on that other one. Um, I really thought that I might get a chance to get out this weekend, even though the deer hunters are out there. Um, I have one place I could go where I'm not going to disturb anybody hunting. But this ice storm, it's already dumps probably three inches of moisture on us. So. Hell, it might be two weeks before I can get out there and not worry about needing a 6x6 six six to get into my spot. But anyway, like I said, sort of a common attraction. That site mark, Wraith HD, $499 is just about the price you're going to find it anywhere. Um, 50 millimeter objective, and that's a really, really nice lens. Focus ring up front so that you can focus the image that's coming to the screen. It is a digital screen. You're not looking through a scope at a reticle. In the rear of it, you do have your eyepiece. It is diopter adjustable. So if you're like me and <clears throat> on the shady side of 60, well, in fact, I'm over 60. I'll be turning 61 here in about four months, but... Uh, that comes in handy because you can focus that reticle to the point you need. You get both them rings focused, you've got her set where you need. You don't got to constantly mess with it. Now, I imagine if you were out in the night and you had it set at 50 and you saw something 200 yards away you want to look at, you might have to adjust that forward ring just a little bit. But it don't take much. I guarantee you, you just start to turn and you know you're turning. Um, it's got a little port here. It's where you put your mini SD card and also has a plug port where you can power up with a battery pack uses four AA batteries for the uh, sight unit there you got a couple of 
one two threes up there in that IR illuminator um, I'm gonna be checking into the power pack and maybe some rechargeable batteries because whew, I'm sure this puppy eats them up pretty quick and I'd rather have rechargeables or a battery pack that I can recharge as opposed to throwing eight bucks in that thing every time I want to go out and hunt hogs uh, but they're all like that uh, you want that kind of tech you're gonna pay a price somewhere on a regular basis all your functions are right up here on a little keypad mounted on a slope and center button everything around it it's got all the menus you know that you're going to need it's got nine different colored reticles it's got ten different styled reticles it's got your daytime mode so you can use it day and night it's got your nighttime mode with your IR and intensity level settings you can also use this to get a one shot zero it has that programming in it you can set this puppy up if you do it right and are calm and cool and steady about it, two shots and you're zero, baby. Um, one to find out where it's at and another one to make sure that it went to where it was supposed to. Got some pretty heavy duty pick tinny mount on there. Now, it isn't actually built into the body. It's actually got two big old Allen head screws that hold it up in there. And there's some place online uh, somebody did a video. They actually make a QD mount for this. I'm thinking, but that might be pretty good too. I pulled the loophole off there just to get it mounted on there and see where I was going to have to set it. Now, it do come with one of them funky looking collapsible rubber eye pieces. And some people like them and some people don't. I haven't really played with it enough to know. I'm thinking I probably won't be using it. Uh, but who knows? I guess that'll depend on how you like to run it. <clears throat> Batteries going on the other side. Just pew, pew, pew. Drop them puppies right in there. Like I said, got your diopter ring on that. I did have to mount this as far back in the Picatinny set system as I could to have the screen right here close enough to my eye that I can set my stock for use, have my nose just barely off of that charging handle, and see that screen in full. So I think that's going to work pretty well. It's got an integral Picatinny mount on top where you can set that IR illuminator if you don't want to put it there, if you want to put it down here on the gun somewhere. That works. Hell, me, you can get something else put up there. You can trick that puppy out. <sighs> I'm forgetting anything. I think it just about covers it really. It's not plumb full of all the tactical features, but it's got everything you need to get started, or so they tell me. We're going to find that out. But anyway, there's going to be more to come on this. And I get that SD card formatted stuck in there and try to do me some just little around the house movies. Get me some footage. <laughs> That'll be pretty fun. A long time to look through something like this, and, and you know, granted, it's it's not a nine thousand dollar pulsar, and it ain't meant to be. But I, I watched a lot of videos on it online, and people having some damn fine luck with it, and getting some really good quality images. Images I didn't wasn't real sure that you or were going to get with something for that price point. I mean, let's face it. I, I can remember ten years ago if you looked at something like this for five hundred dollars you might as well just take your money and throw it out your truck window while he's going down the highway you weren't really getting much for your money especially that russian made crap but this really is just what i've seen so far kind of impressive and you know i've got hog lights you know the big green hunting lights and everything and and those work you know those do a good job but uh oh yeah you can it does have profile settings in here you can set five different profiles and whether whether you want to use that profile for different loads out of the same gun or mounting the scope from one weapon to the next to the next you can do that you can zero it on a weapon get it set set that profile number 
you're golden, baby, and you can just go from gun to gun to gun. So uh, that's a pretty handy feature. This weapon right here, especially in the nighttime, 300 blackout, suppressed, 100, 125, and that'll be fine. Um, and I can set a profile for subsonic ammo, and I can turn around and set another profile for supersonic ammo. And I could switch without ever doing anything to the gun or the sight other than just telling it profile number three, profile number two, whatever I choose. Pretty handy dandy little rig. And like I said, there's there's other YouTube videos out there that cover the features in a uh, much more concise format than what I'm laying out here. Like I said, it's just coming attractions. So, anyway, I'm going to drag it around the house and play with it a little bit. As soon as it gets dark, I'm going to stick it outside the back door and see what I can see. Y'all have a great day. If you're anywhere in central Oklahoma or anywhere that this storm is raging across, especially if you're in the ice part of it like we are, you can get out there on the road, watch out for the idiots. Because I'm going to tell you what, they're everywhere. They are all over the damn place. I don't know how I made three trips away from the house today without getting slammed into. But, so, y'all be careful. And you people that are idiots, for God's sake, quit driving like an idiot. Jesus Christ, it is not Phoenix, Arizona, 78 degrees and dry pavement. There's an ice storm going on out there. Okay, anyway, enough bitching. So, I'm going to play with my new toy and get to know her. Yeah, going to rub her a little bit and see how she responds. So, anyway, more to come from the nighttime pig hunting infidel. Y'all have a good one. Come back and see me. Stay tuned.